Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install Bootstrap and use it in your website. So first head out your browser and then search for getbootstrap.com. Then scroll down and you'll see a download link. Click on the download link and then click on the download button. After that, save it to your desired location. Once your installation is complete, go to your file explorer and open the folder where you've saved the zip file after that let's extract the file right click on it and click on extract here if you don't have a, a software for extracting uh, files you can check out my video i have shown you how to install winrar it is used to extract files now uh, open your file and go to css and copy the path now uh, go to your uh, file or anything where you have made your website i've already made two files for showing you how to use it first one is with cdn path and another one is with html uh, file path so open it with notepad or any uh, code editor then here i've shown you uh, my path where i've saved my bootstrap just paste it there in the link ta uh, link function then uh, here just type bootstrap dot min dot css that's what it, uh, that's what is written here in the css file of bootstrap see this one we are targeting this one after that save the file and you can run your file I have uh, edited this one, file path one. See, it's working. I've used navbar. And now I'll show you how to use CDN path. So first using CDN path, you have to go to the bootstrap website again on the home page, getbootstrap.com. Scroll down until you find include via CDN. So copy the CSS one. If you want to use JavaScript bootstrap, then you can use, uh, copy this one. But I'm going to show you how to use it in CSS. So click on this uh, copy to clipboard button. After that, go to your file. Uh, open your uh, notepad where you have saved your HTML file. Then here, paste it. Paste the file path. I mean CDN path see you will see it it's too big I'll paste it again you can remove this comments and now just save it control s and open it with uh, bootstrap now you'll see the website is working in both the cases so using CDN path and using file path so hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.